I recently received an email from a homeowner out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who said he's got a little bit of a curb appeal issue he'd like help with. He moved out there about a year ago with the Tulsa Remote Program, which is a really cool idea where they're actually giving you money to move to the city and work from there. It's actually kind of an interesting idea considering so many people can work from home now. Looking at the forecast, it looks like we have a little bit of rain coming. Hopefully it holds out, but I'll grab my rain jacket, my tools, and we'll head on over. Hi, Dwayne. Hi, welcome to Tulsa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I heard you're a new resident here? Yeah, I just moved here about a year ago. What brings you to Tulsa? Well, a Tulsa remote program. I'm from Wisconsin, so yep. a lot of stuff to do here that I didn't have, like the gathering place. Yep. Uh, there are Turkey Mountain. Oh, nice. Paintballing indoor. I mean, there's I can go on and on, but lots of things to do, yep. and I absolutely love it. You wrote me about a curb appeal project that you wanted to spruce up. Where's that at? Right over here. Right. So here is the project. Yep. Um, as you can see, the wood's rotting. A lot mm -hmm. of green moss build up here. Mm -hmm. Wood's breaking down here. I'm not even sure if it's up to code. And the ground is also unstable, yeah. it seems like. So it's seen some better days. Yes, we can definitely. definitely make some improvements here. So first off, we're working around is this gas meter here. And they did do it right. They enclosed three sides, but they left the top and the rear open, which is, is good. That's, that's to code. Um, we definitely want to replicate that. We don't want to make it too tight. We want to give you know, emergency services or any utility services the opportunity to come if they need to shut it off in an emergency or if they need to swap a meter, give them the opportunity to work on it. This one, you know, they drove some stakes in there. I'd, I'd rather not drive any stakes in. I'd rather try and make like a wide base that it'll just be really heavy and just sit down. Okay. And that way too, if they ever had to do a larger service on it, they could move it out of the way and put it back when they're done. I think it's gonna be a pretty fun project. You wanna give it a try? Sounds good, let's do it. All right, let's just try pulling this. It seems pretty loose. Let's try pulling this out too. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. Like, even easier. Hey, hey, this is the uh, stuff I picked up and I decided to set up under your awesome carport because it looks like the weather might change on us. Okay. So we'll try and build the whole unit here and then bring it out there and set it in place. Okay. But I just want to show you what I picked up. Um, to start at the bottom, I have this pressure treated 2x6. So what this is going to do for us, it's going to be in ground contact, so it's very rot resistant. That'll make a really nice uh, base for us to build off of. I'm going to do cedar for all the rest. I'm going to do my posts out of cedar, 2x4s. I have some of this cedar fencing panel that we'll use and we'll run it horizontally really nice clean look and then I'll cap everything off with this cedar 2x6. Over time you can sand it, you can stain it, you can just let it gray out, it'll really age nicely. I thought it'd be a nice touch to maybe pick up some house numbers. So I picked Perfect. up your 5546 and these four inch black numbers here. You like the look? Yep, kind of pops. So. Yeah, I think that'll fit nicely too. If we're going to run these horizontally, we'll pick a nice spot at the end of it and put those on. Um, glue for any of our miters. Attaching our base and our cap, we're gonna use these three inch screws. And then for attaching our cedar fence panels, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these stainless screws. Okay. These have a nice head on them, it's really gonna hold that in. Instead of using like a finish nail, which might pop out over time, these will age really well and they'll never rot. So um, I think we'll get started. We'll move everything off and we'll get started by building the base. Okay. All right. Now that we have a long point, I'm going to go 42 inches. And then what we'll do is we'll use that as our long point. So we'll come back off of that. And then the remainder, now we have another long point. I'll cut another two foot piece, and that'll be all we need for the base. So, my question is what is the the tin in here it looks like a greenish blue tin. So it's actually copper. It's one of the major components that they infuse the wood with nowadays to keep the, the pests and the bugs from eating into it. Now that we have a long point there, I'll just pull two feet off of that. And this will just be a regular 90 degree square cut. It likes those short little square cuts, <laughs> not those long miters. All right, all right. so now what we have is the three pieces we need to build up our base. So we've got a nice miter there, nice miter there. And then what we were looking for is a minimum of 24 inches in between, and we have 30. So now we're gonna have plenty of room to move this back and forth. We're not gonna choke down on that gas meter at all. So to attach these together, 
I'm pretty much just gonna do a few toe screws. All right. All right, so the easiest way to find the height for our posts that we're gonna cut is just to lay out the material that we're gonna use. I'd rather not have to rip anything, have any custom pieces. So these come at five and a half inches. They're somewhat consistent, they vary in size a little bit. But if we just slam five of them together, we get 28 inches. And we're looking probably 27 inches was the old one. A little bit higher won't be bad. If I gap these a little bit, about an eighth, strong eighth in between each one, we might finish at about 28 and a half inches. I think that that would be a good look for us. So we'll cut four posts, or we're actually going to cut six because we're going to join them together. We'll cut six pieces of that cedar two by four at 28 and a half inches. Okay. Right. All right, so we want to join two of these together, two of these together to make our posts for the front. And then these are going to be left single. We'll add those to the rear. So we got our base back up, we have our post cut. And what we're gonna do is think about our layout and our placement for these fencing boards as they come up. So we can flush it to the front like that if we want to, or we can hold it back a little bit, give a little bit of a, re a reveal. I like it flush. You like it flush? All right, so that's easy to help us with our layout. What we're gonna do is flush that right to the front. I'm just gonna make a pencil mark. And then we'll do the sides. So what we did is we just created a setback. So now we know we have our post. When we put our post in, it's gonna come right into that corner, and mount right there. And then we'll take our single, mount it back there. Panels on the front, it'll be nice and flush. So now we're ready to install these. Cut some of this extra two by four. It's actually pressure treated, but we're gonna we're gonna use it anyways to stiffen up this top. All right, we're ready to start cutting these cedar fencing boards. Luckily, I can get three pieces out of each six footer. So I need five for each side, and then I need five for the front. All right, now we're ready to finish off the top. I grabbed a nice piece of premium two by six cedar, and it's gonna be kind of like the bottom, just gonna make it a little bit longer so we have a one inch overhang all the way around. All right, so let's do a little glue on this miter. All right, you wanna go see if it fits? Yeah. All right. All right, lower it down. Says that wants to go down there. So the last thing that we're gonna do is for a little added weight, I'm just gonna drop a couple pavers in on that bottom plate. Okay. Um, if you feel like you need to add more over time, we can do that. But uh, this is just a little bit of extra weight. All right, Dwayne, what do you think? I think it looks great. Yeah, it came out nice. You can let it gray out, you can paint it, you can stain it, add a little mulch or a little seed, let it blend right in. Sounds good, thanks for coming to Tulsa and maybe next time we'll have some fun. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.